juggling work, family and friends is not always easy and we all need one of those quick, easy meals to make at home no matter how bare the pantry. And one of those key ingredients would be pasta. And pasta really is quick and easy and versatile and you're really only limited by what's in your pantry. The problem with pasta is that it's easy to overindulge so you've got to be careful of pasta portion distortion. Stick to about one cup as a portion and think about what you're adding to the pasta to make sure that it's low fat and healthy. And let's be honest, if it weren't for pasta, many bachelors would have starved to death. Absolutely. Pasta itself is actually really low fat. It's what you add to the pasta that's the real comfort. And that's why this dish is just so good for you because the main ingredient is courgettes. And we know that they are low in kilojoules and high in nutrients. And you can see by the amount that it's actually quite a lot. Mm. So when you're making pasta, try and always add the equal amount of vegetable to the amount of pasta that you're having to make sure that you balance out the nutrients. And we're also adding pine nuts, which are an interesting ingredient. They may be kilojoule dense, but they're packed with those healthy monounsaturated fats that are good for your heart. Another really interesting fact about pine nuts is that they really do come from pine trees. Pine trees take between 15 and 25 years to produce pine nuts and they take three times that to actually develop into full production. Each pine nut is picked by hand, hence the price tag. And instead of adding a high fat ingredient like cream, we're adding some chili, garlic and lemon, which are all really powerful immune boosters and really good as a source of antioxidants for fighting cancer. Really nutritious, really simple. Let's get started. Place a teaspoon of olive oil into a really hot deep frying pan. To that, you're going to add your garlic and chili. And don't forget your pine nuts. Yep, yum. To this, let's add about six cups of baby marrow. I spent a lot of effort. My biceps are aching. I grated all of these baby marrows myself. This is a very different way to approach pasta. I like it. Mm. Okay, these courgettes are done. They've been cooking for about five minutes. Just keep a close eye to make sure that you don't overdo them. Okay. To this, we're going to add our al dente pasta. What does al dente mean? It means just soft to the tooth. So you don't want to overcook pasta, otherwise it goes quite sloppy. Yeah, this is nice and firm. And then we're going to add the juice of one lemon and then the zest of the lemon. Parmesan may not be a very low fat cheese, but because the flavour is so strong, you actually don't need to use a lot. You can see this is not a lot for such yeah. a large amount of pasta. That makes sense, eh? So you just reduce the quantity. Awesome flavour though. To complete this dish, you would ideally serve it with a little side salad. Absolutely, and if you're managing your cholesterol, don't forget to add a teaspoon of Flora Proactive so that you can include some plant sterols into your diet to help lower bad cholesterol. And all that's left to do is season to taste. 